Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video, we're going to study through some probability problems. And my first problem is here. You pick randomly two students to clean the classroom. And I only have a set of five students here to keep the problem simple. So we have Katie, Jamie, Bill, Eva and Mike. And the question is, what's the probability of picking exactly Katie and Jamie? And then, what's the probability of picking two boys? And now, we're going to use this chart to help us with the problem. And uh, these letters here signify the first student that would be picked. So, for example, let's say that I pick Katie as the first student. Then, I have four other possibilities for the second student, right? The second student could be Jamie or Bill or Eva, or Mike, right? And now, if the first student is Jamie, then the second one could be Katie, Bill, Eva, or Mike. If the first student is Bill, then the second one would be Jamie, Katie, Eva, or Mike, and so on. If the first student is Eva, then the second one would be Jamie, Katie, Bill, or Mike, and then over here would be Jamie, Katie, Eva or Bill. And now these dots are all the possible outcomes of this situation. So we have 20 possible outcomes in total. And now we just check how many favorable outcomes there are for this. Katie and Jamie are picked. Okay, and it's not just one outcome that is Katie and Jamie. There's Katie first and Jamie then. This one here. And then Jamie first and Katie second. Those two are the favorable outcomes. And so we get the probability of 2 over 20, which is 1 tenth. And now the probability of picking two boys. Again, we just find all the favorable outcomes in our chart. And uh, let me see. Let's erase these. And so two boys would be Katie and none of these. Okay, Jamie and Bill. Jamie and Mike. And then we kind of have Bill and Jamie. Bill and Mike. And then Mike and Jamie. And Mike and Bill. So there are six favorable outcomes and 20 in total. So this is three tenths. Next problem. Toss a coin two times, what's the probability of getting exactly two tails? And here's another, toss a coin three times, and now what's the probability of getting exactly two tails? Now first this simpler situation, I toss a coin two times, once and twice. What are all the possible outcomes? We can just list them here. You know, on the first toss I could get a tail, and on the second I could get a tail. Or I could get first tail and then heads, or I could get heads and heads, or heads and tail. There's only four possible outcomes. And so exactly two tails is this one. There's one favorable outcome, so the probability is one fourth. Let's do this in a similar manner. We will list all the possible outcomes using this kind of system. My first toss I could get tails and then tails and tails, right? Or I could get tails, tails and heads. And then, let me just use this. If I have tails and heads, then the last toss I could have either tails or heads. Then I'll take this one. If the first two are heads and heads, the last one can be tails or heads. And then lastly, in a similar manner. Now I have all eight possible outcomes for this situation. What's the probability of getting exactly two tails now? Okay, I'll just find the favorable ones. Here's one favorable outcome. Here's another, two tails. And this one. Okay. So we have then the probability, three over eight. Over here. Pick two cards randomly from this set of cards. What's the probability that at least one of the cards is an ace? You know, this or this. 
How about the probability of picking exactly two aces? Or the probability, of, the probability that one card is eight? Now, when you're looking at this, the one card, it could be either the first card is eight, or that the second card you pick is eight. But we're going to solve all of these by using a tree diagram. We'll draw the tree diagram for all the possible outcomes in this situation. And I'm going to pick, first of all, I pick one card randomly. So I'll start the tree diagram here. For my first card, I have six choices, right? So let's make six branches here. And my first card could be the ace, or the other ace, or seven, two, eight, or five. Those are all my possibilities, right? And then, if I pick ace for the first card, then for the second card, I don't have this one anymore as a possibility. I have those five as a possibility for the second card. So from here would go five branches. And the same is true if I first pick five, then after that, I have those five cards as possibilities for the second card. So I would have five branches from here. And similarly, from each one of these, I have five possibilities. Okay. And then over here, I have ace as my other possibility, and then two, five, seven, eight. Same here. And here could be ace, ace, two, Five eight, ace ace five seven eight, ace ace two five seven, ace ace two seven eight. And now we can use this tree diagram to solve each one of those. What's the probability of at least one ace? Now we will count all the favorable outcomes from these. And there are in total, see there's five here, five, 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 there's six times five or 30 possible outcomes. But in how many of these I have at least one ace? Okay, if I go here, all of these have at least one ace, you know, ace, ace, or ace, two, ace, five. And similarly here, ace, 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 two, ace, five. And so I have 10 possible, 10 favorable outcomes from here. And then here I have seven and ace, seven and ace. Two more here, two more here, two more here, two more here. So in total I get eight, and then ten. Eighteen favorable outcomes over thirty, which simplifies to three fifths. And then the probability of two aces. Okay. For that one, I don't have very many favorable outcomes, only these ones. Ace first, ace second. And then ace first, ace second. Just two. So it's one fifteenth. And then one card is eight. Okay. I would have ace and eight, that one. Ace and eight, that one. 7 and 8, 2 and 8, 8 and any of these, and then 5 and 8, right? In all of those, there's 1 8. So I would get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 5, or 10 favorable outcomes, which simplifies to 1 third. Okay, we're all done with these problems, and I hope it was helpful.